see this is uh, one more uh, topic especially when i want to find out the type of relationship between two variables not necessary that almost all the time there will be a linear relationship it could be some kind of non linear relationship also that can exist sometimes cubic sometimes log sometimes whatever <coughs> right so that particular uh, part is what is called as a curve fitting so there, suppose i have two sets of data what kind of what kind of uh, relationship is a better fit between these two forms of data right probably in some cases it could be a linear in some cases it could be a, a, a quadratic in some cases it could be a cubic in some cases it could be a log in some cases it could be an exponential any kind of relationship in some cases it could be sine any kind of relationship can literally exist between two variables and uh, we have to identify what is the better fitting relationship so that i can do the appropriate transformation right if uh, if i find that the relationship log is a better relationship between the two then better do a log transform then i'll find the relationship to be more and more better off but if i say square is a better relation then do a square transform that makes our work very easy the we are saying we were talking about whether i should <coughs> do a log transform or some other transform or something else so which transform we have to do also can be very much uh, understood once we understand the pattern between the two types of data so from that standpoint uh, spss gives some kind of relationships right probably it does not talk in terms of your uh, trigonometric relationships and all those things those kind of things you have to model separately but at least uh, some kind of relationships that's where the mathematical modeling tools versus statistical tools differ here it only talks about a few types of relationships probably square cube square root log exponential one by reciprocal these kind of relationships it focuses on but not the other kinds of relationships so now for that i'll take one simple data set which is called virus virus is a data set which is a very simple thing our since detection and proportion of infected messages right if i am taking 2 hours to clean it after detection probably uh, uh, this much proportion of the messages are getting deleted <coughs> right defective messages so if it is uh, probably taking 2 hours to detect it then uh, it is uh, i mean this much proportion of the messages are getting damaged so i want to find out what is the relationship between the time and the infected messages is it a linear relationship like if the time doubles infected messages also get doubled or they go square of double they go cube of double what is the appropriate best fitting equation looking at the data that is available so for that we are doing a curve fitting because i don't know what is the relationship that exists see as long as when i talked about sales or quantities we said okay the downward side there is a cap so i'll do a log transform on that but in not all cases log transform may work so i have to understand the relationship and based on that i may want to do an appropriate transformation so from that standpoint also this curve fitting mechanism will definitely help me out so how am i doing this curve fitting analyze 
regression, the curve estimation. So you estimate the equation.